Uh, I will start my talk with uh, incidents and epidemiology. Uh, I searched PubMed uh, and there were uh, 586 uh, with thoracoloma trauma and incidents uh, and 387 uh, uh, with thoracoloma trauma and epidemiology. Uh, one of the best uh, uh, epidemiologic studies uh, is coming from Sweden. Uh, it, it was 13,496 admitted patients. My majority were, were men, and the annual incidence of the, the fractures uh, has been found 30 per 100,000 inhabitants. Uh, if they look, uh, but they did not uh, differentiate osteoporotic fractures from uh, with uh, uh, non-osteoporotic fractures. So the incidence, if it is uh, less than 60 years, is quite less, 13 per 100,000. Incidence did not change considerably during the study period, but then they have used this uh, sentence, the crude annual number of patients admitted decreased slightly over the study years. Probably it is not uh, very significant. Surgery was applied in 15% of the patients. Uh, if we, uh, they look at uh, more than 60 years patients, older patients, the operation proportion is quite less, 2%. And uh, and at the end, they say uh, we could not extract if the patient has osteoporosis. One another study from Finland. Uh, this study is telling that the, uh, the mortality rate of spine injuries are decreasing. This is a, again a very large study. Uh, and they comment that the addition of seat belts and airbags has created a, a different environment for, for automotive trauma and the mortality rates are, are de decreasing. Uh, the low energy injury deaths involving older patients happened over a longer period of time, presumably from complications associated with the injury. And uh, they say that the aging population is clearly demonstrated uh, that the death rates over the course of the study uh, uh, is uh, probably increasing. Older men have a disproportionate uh, increase in death from spine injuries uh, in comparison to uh, uh, female patients. Uh, we, they have speculated that uh, why it is gender specific. Uh, the men are less likely to accept the changes of age and then uh, they tend to fall uh, in front and then they, uh, it causes uh, uh, spine injuries uh, very often. One study from Canada and USA, uh, retrospective review of data, uh, 390 patients, uh, with thoracic and lumbar fractures. Uh, this is not a good epidemiologic study. And then uh, they say that operative treatment was about 70% and neurologic deficit were in 36% of the patients. Another study from USA, uh, from Los Angeles only, level one trauma center, 13 year pe period, 1996 to 2008, uh, among all trauma patients, 5.8% uh, suffered spinal fractures. And those are having 21% spinal cord injury and motor vehicle accidents were the majority of them. The mortality rate due to spinal injury decreased significantly as have been found by Swedish study uh, the incidence rate of spine cord injury also decreased over the years. It was 23% uh, in 1996, but now it is 6.7% in 2008. 
uh, and they they conclude that the spinal injuries are increasing with uh, age, especially blunt spine cord injury and injuries at multiple spinal levels. And uh, the and the the biggest conclusion of that study is the mo mortality rate of spinal injuries are decreasing by the years. They have conclu concluded, other than reduction in mortality, reduction in spinal cord injury due to motor vehicle accidents, and elderly population is more likely to suffer spinal cord injuries uh, by the coming years, the recent years. Uh, but this is from the proceedings in 2018, a 10-year period in the United States. Incidents, they, they were looking only to lumbar spine fractures and uh, the incidence uh, of lumbar spine fractures are increasing. But this is because of osteoporotic fractures. And the majority between ages 80 to 89 and more often in females. We, 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 we can expect it uh, uh, nicely because uh, by the uh, increasing age of the populations, uh, we are seeing more, more and more osteoporotic fractures. A German study in 2010, uh, in a two years uh, interval, uh, looking at the uh, operative treatment in, of 733 patients with acute thoracolumbar spine fractures. The main reason was fall from height. Uh, most of the uh, cases were at T11, L2 levels. And they have applied AO Magal classification. Uh, and the paper is focused on a surgical approach, not epidemiology mostly. Uh, one other German study, 2009, retrospective analysis, level one trauma centers, uh, and the most common cause of accident was high energy fall than the uh, traffic accidents uh, for thoracolumbar injury. But if you look at all spine injuries, the highest uh, reason, the, the, the biggest reason is, is uh, motor vehicle accidents. Uh, this is a pediatric and adolescent patient group, uh, 546 patients. Fall from height is the main reason. Uh, they stress one different thing, that the multiple fractures are common in adolescent and pediatric ages, almost 53.2%. Uh, very small amount of them needed surgery. And uh, they conclude that vertebral fractures in children are usually multiple and should lead to broad diagnostic coverage. We must suspect uh, other injuries in, in a child if there is one injury. A Chinese study, uh, a very large group uh, from 24 rural uh, countries in China, eight provinces, uh, the incidence rate has been found similar to that Swedish study, 32 per 100,000 people. Among all age groups, fractures of thoracolumbar spine were the most common, followed by fractures of L3, L5. A small study from Saudi Arabia uh, focused more on the uh, surgical treatment and saying that 33% uh, of the uh, thoracolumbar fractures have been managed surgically. A Cambodia study, uh, 277 patients, retrospective review. Uh, they have got very uh, minor uh, resources. Uh, they have done uh, Surgical costs between $100 and $280, very, very cheap. Uh, mean age was 40. Uh, they have collected all trauma, then uh, thoracolumbar trauma was the most common. Uh, motor vehicle accidents was most by motorcyclists, 
as we are expecting. They actually, uh, in the developing countries, they have, uh, they were using more bicycles. Now they are using more motorcycles. Uh, so then they don't use helmets and then they, they don't uh, obey the traffic rules. So uh, most of the trauma are uh, coming from motorcycles. Falls from palm and mango, mango trees is the second reason. Uh, and uh, this is all, this is not a real epidemiologic study, but uh, it can give us a mirror of what's happening in the uh, developing countries. A meta-analysis uh, from 2016, uh, they have looked at 21 uh, articles and the rate of thoracolumbar fracture in blunt trauma has been found 6.9%. Uh, Spinal cord injury was 26%. And uh, associated injuries were as follows. We, we don't care much. Uh, another meta-analysis, 2016, uh, Flexion death destruction injuries showed an intra-abdominal injury rate of 38. And the most common vertebra injured was L1. Etiology was most, mostly motor vehicle collision, then high energy fall. But it's 36, then 31. Uh, we we uh, actually we can change those statements, uh, but uh, I created those statements. Uh, mortality rate to spine injury is tending to decrease. This is more with motor vehicle accidents due to the improvements in motor vehicle safety and traffic regulations. Please uh, make comments or let's discuss that that statement. This is the first statement. Maybe if you take a Europe or US, this will be the, this will be the case. But maybe in, in countries in Asia where it's a lot of money, but the people in countries are maybe far from the road course, it's not very common. Actually, there were two big studies from one from US, one from Sweden and Finland, uh, telling that the mortality rate is decreasing. Uh, but uh, there is no such study in the developing countries, right? Maybe we can say that the mortality rate is not uh, decreasing. The mortality rate is decreasing in developing countries. Mortality rate due to the, due to spinal injuries decreasing. In no, sorry, it's tending to decrease. We need, uh, so if, no, no, we, sorry. Spinal after spinal injury. Right. He, can, Imad, he can quickly do this. Yeah. Uh, after so spinal injury is decreasing. Tending to we can delete. Is decreasing. In developing countries, Imad, you have to help here. In developed countries. Developed countries. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. Uh, Dr. Mehmet. Yeah, <clears throat> we are working in a uh, developing country and also our uh, catchment area is from the rural area and the people are uh, under the low poverty level. So actually what we see because of the poverty, they cannot uh, uh, continue the treatment of the pet stores. I have only observed this is the area of thoracic lumbar which which has the least likely lethal in uh, lethal uh, uh, mort mortality, lethal injury or the mortality is less on the basis of the uh, site of the injury. But what happens in the developing countries with the poverty, then most of the young people, even when they go to uh, their villages, they even don't take care of the their uh, urinary catheters. And even they, when they come back and follow up, they have the very large bed source. And that is the reason the poverty is the main thing 
which is a reason of the motility of thoracolumbar fractures in our setup which i wanted to add okay we we were we are meaning that discussing that we are just discussing this point at, at this time so we take one point at a time otherwise then there's lots to discuss so yeah. we won't finish let's let's now uh, just walk focus this. on this one point. first statement this is more with motor vehicle accidents due to improvement in motor vehicle so this is this statement is fine because we are only talking about developed countries we are voting okay that's after voting shall we shall we next shall we push to next you must yes, sir. Okay. no 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 just just one only the first Okay. The incidence of low velocity falls are increasing, especially in elderly population. Low velocity fall is <laughs> any, uh, yeah, practice, yes, especially in elderly population. So we can say the incidence of low uh, velocity falls leading to osteoporotic factors. Factors. Shall we differentiate that? Actually, uh, most of the papers did not tell tell that because they they are say, saying we cannot differentiate whether it is osteoporotic or not okay we uh, could not they, they say okay second let's vote for second third the mortality rate among male elderly patients are relatively high this yes. was a good uh, epidemiologic study. I yes. There's, there's only one study that's shown that, or every study has shown that? There is, um, actually, I can show you that. Where is page up? This is that one from Finland. Finnish nationwide register-based epidemiology study on data from 1987 to 2010. Okay. Okay, good. Actually, they are those countries are collecting all people's data. <laughs> it's quite amazing. Uh, they can even give the names of all people. Okay, no, I think let's vote on this. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, four. The most common cause of uh, thoracolumbar fractures are falls and traffic accidents. So I have done a mistake. Uh, in some studies, the, the leading uh, cause is falls in some other traffic accidents. I didn't want to differentiate it. It's fine. It's, it's a good statement. Fifth, uh, the real incidences and epidemiology in developing countries are not well known. I could not find any good study. Uh, do you want to suggest that uh, World Federation to, should help the developing countries to collect this epidemiology and incident? Add, uh, this, this, this may be written in the comments okay. of the papers, I okay. think. Uh, the annual incidence of thoracolumbar fractures is about 30 per 100,000 inhabitants. I have taken this from Chinese study and uh, US study and Swedish study, sorry. If osteopathic fractures are counted together, the incidence in older populations should be considered higher and increasing in the last decade. Actually, we have talked about that 
the incidence in the uh, uh, elderly patients is increasing on the second uh, statement. We have already voted on that. Yeah. We, we can, can delete that. if you wish, we can delete this part. Yeah. Again, that uh, the incidence that we are quoting is from a country. Um, yeah. The annual this incidence. Is, and we don't know others, so. Should we specify? But, but the China, do you think it should be considered as? They are both, they're developed and developing as well. Yeah. <laughs> so then I, Let's vote on it. It's yes, just vote on it. And this seven vertebral fractures in children are usually multiple.